Skip69 here for OCN, talk, coming at you from Computex 2013 at the Noctua booth. And I'm going to show you what they got. Would you please introduce me to yourself and the products? Uh, with pleasure. Hi and welcome at the Noctua booth. My name is Jacob and I'll give you a brief tour uh, about our new products. We've got a couple new uh, fans for our A-series which we uh, introduced last fall. We've got a 20 centimeter model, a new 92 millimeter model, and an 80 millimeter model. They will come with all the features uh, that we've introduced with the A-series uh, last fall, like flow acceleration channels, uh, inner surface microstructures, a step inlet design, SSO2 bearing, etc. We're also showing uh, a project called Redux. Uh, the idea behind it is that we want to offer something for all those people who always wanted to buy a Noctua fan but thought they were just too expensive to afford. So what we plan to do is take some of our most popular models like the NFP12, uh, NFP14 or NFS12B and offer them in streamlined, uh, reduced packaging at more attractive prices. That's this one here. We've also been working on uh, new industrial fans uh, made from fiberglass reinforced polyamide. meat. So these are even more rigid than uh, the uh, uh, current Noctua models. They will also come with uh, IP class 52 water and dust protection and a new six pole motor design that allows for even smoother running, even lower vibration and even lower power consumption. I gotta say, that is a nice looking fan. Thank you very much. I, uh, I don't say that very often to all the guys, okay? <laughs> on the cooler front, uh, we've been working on a new nine centimeter model. Um, that even though it looks completely different to the U12S and U14S, uh, follows a similar idea, namely maximizing RAM compatibility. In this case, uh, we couldn't slim a single tower uh, version down even further because the surface area would be too low, so we went for a dual tower design and we'll use the new 92mm A-series fan, which I've just shown you, and this way we can reach the performance target of getting the same performance as the current 92mm model, but with just a single fan and at the same time reducing the width of the cooler so we won't overhang the RAM slots. You will have full compatibility with all memory modules and at the same time the benefit of uh, 95 millimeter width which means the cooler won't overhang the PCIe slot on Mini ITX. Next up uh, we've got something people have been uh, waiting for for quite some time, an update to our popular NHD14 flagship model. We've now uh, adjusted the width uh, to fit the NFA15 fans, which we've introduced last fall. So it's now 150 millimeter wide, and at the same time, we've increased the spacing between the heat pipes. So what we're getting with this is uh, better heat distribution over a larger surface area. And this translates into better performance. So you can see a nice performance improvement over the previous NHD14. We've also introduced uh, little cutouts. You can see them here. So uh, if you want better RAM compatibility, you can drop the front fan and sacrifice a bit of performance for uh, compatibility with uh, RAM modules of up to 70mm uh, height. As you've probably all heard, uh, Haswell is running a bit hot, uh, so our little NHL 9 is uh, starting to struggle a bit if you uh, have an 84 watt Haswell in a ITX case and stress all four cores for uh, a couple of hours. So we've now been working on a slightly taller design, uh, but as well targeted towards uh, mini ITX users. This one here is uh, 65 millimeter high, so it's uh, the same as low profile PCIe cards and it shares the same 95 by 95 millimeter footprint. So it will clear the PCIe slot, it will clear the memory slot and it will clear all the connectors on the, PCI uh, on the ITX boards. So you will not have to worry about compatibility problems at all. The next thing I'm going to show you is actually not new, but very old. It's a cooler back from 2005, one of the first coolers we uh, produced. Uh, and we just want to show you that it's still working on Haswell. Uh, we can supply the mounting kits to make it com compatible with the latest Intel uh, architecture. And we supply the mounting kits free of charge. As always, you just have to upload a proof of purchase and we will send the mounting kit out to you for free. Yeah. The next one is a uh, highlight uh, of our show this year. It's a new uh, heatsink base technology. Um, a new material, uh, copper diamond composite. Uh, it is made from uh, pure copper and diamond powder 
it's used into a single material by hot pressing technology and the benefit of this material is uh, that it offers much higher thermal conductivity than copper. We're looking at 500 watt per meter Kelvin thermal conductivity and this is about 25% uh, higher than copper. So the benefit of this technology is that we can get much uh, better, much more even heat distribution throughout the cooler base. So uh, the outer heat pipes will receive more heat and we can make the whole cooler work more efficiently. Last but not least, uh, I would like to give you a brief update about our active noise cancellation project uh, that we've been working on with uh, our Swedish partners from Rotosap. We're now working on two fronts. Uh, the first one is a 120 millimeter uh, water cooling radiator, which is still at a fairly early stage of development. So I cannot really uh, say too much about it yet, but we've uh, made very good progress uh, on the other front we're working on. And that is a 140 millimeter uh, CPU cooler with with the active noise cancellation technology. Um, with this prototype, uh, we're almost uh, good to go for uh, tooling. And uh, the results we're seeing is uh, that at the same noise level, we offer a significant performance boost over our current NHD14. And uh, if you go for the same performance level, we can offer a significant uh, acoustic advantage. As for uh, timing, uh, I cannot make uh, any promises yet because this technology is uh, very tricky to handle in manufacturing. Uh, but if everything goes very smoothly, uh, we might have it ready uh, around spring 2014 or uh, for Computex, Computex next year. Yeah, I think we've got pretty much everything covered. Uh, thank you very much for Noctua and keep enjoying the show. And thank you very much. Kip69 here at Coffee Dicks. Goodbye.